Days away from Mother's Day, we're profiling women who give mothers a good name. The second of three finalists in our Marvelous Mom contest lives in Cherokee. News 13's John Lee explains why for her, motherhood is truly a miracle. Okay, let's see what we got. This is what we used to do before Facebook. We've got photos everywhere. Susan Bernheisel lets the pics fall where they may. When our first child was born, Lee. Just counting her blessings. This is Nikki and this is my Lee. Where's our wedding pictures? Doesn't really matter if they're perfectly organized because finding one is like reliving the moment. This is Tony and I on our wedding day 40 years ago. And to think that when she was just 10 months old, experts doubted she would even live. And they certainly never thought she'd have a family. I was just learning to walk, and she took me to my grandmother to get me to walk for her, and all of a sudden I started dragging my legs. They rushed me to the hospital, and they said I had polio. At first, she could barely even move her eyes. I didn't walk at all till I was 16 without braces and crutches and wheelchairs. Em, you might ought to take your glasses off. But despite all the doubts, Susan found her calling as a mom. Whoa! <laughs> I think they're trying to kill us. She and her husband have two biological kids and five adopted children. They've just taken in a teenager, and Susan wants even more. And we said we've got a nice home, we love children, we could give them so much. Daughter Nikki nominated her. My mom deserves to win because she is marvelous. That's my baby. <laughs> Susan lives vicariously through her children, perspective that comes with her past with polio. Just things that I've never been able to do. I enjoy watching my children do it. Whoa! In Cherokee, John Lee, News 13. We'll meet one more Marvelous Mom finalist tomorrow at 530.